Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sandy wanted me to tell you a little bit about my animal chaplain work. And I'm actually just really still in the very beginnings of it. But I have to say, and I've been saying this all along, that I think it's one of the most profound spiritual journeys I have ever taken. And I know that when I'm finished, that I will be completely redesigned spiritually. But in this particular lesson that I'm learning at the moment, we're studying about grace. And grace is that wonderful gift of God that shows up, that supersedes, she says, over the way the world works. And I thought I would bring you some stories about grace in my own life. And I'm sure that it, would, it might be really fun to create a group just to share about grace stories because they're so miraculous. And of course, last Sunday I shared with you about my Bernie Bush experience when I asked God for help when I set my backyard on fire. And, uh, and it went out. I mean, it went out. And um, um, a friend of mine, Judy, in Los Angeles one time called her AA sponsor and told her uh, crying because she had five dollars to her name and she didn't know where any more was coming from. And her sponsor told her, she says, go out into the street and give it to someone who needs it more than you. And she obeyed her sponsor, probably reluctantly, but she went out. When she got home, there was a check in her mailbox for six hundred dollars. There was a time when I was, in, I was living in Los Angeles, and, um, and I'm an Aries, and I like, I'm, a bit of a, I'm not a real big risk taker anymore as I get older, but back in those days, I liked to push the edge with the gas in my car. <laughs> and I ran out of gas on the freeway, and I, you know, for those of you who know, uh, the LAPD does not like it when you run out of gas on the freeway down there. And so I'm going up this hill, and my engine just stopped. And I'm like, dear God, please get me to the top of the hill, you know, so I can roll down the other side and maybe get off the next exit. And I got to the top of the hill, and I'm in my car screaming, yelling, you know, rooting <laughs> God on to get me to the top of that hill. And I got to the top of the hill, and I rolled down, and there was an exit, and I rolled down out through the exit and right in front of a gas pump. <laughs> oh, and that is grace. <laughs> <laughs> When I, went at, when I went to England with my aunt a few years ago, or 10 years ago probably, close to, um, she, we kept having these little miracles happen. And it got to, I, I just always look for them. You know, I'm always watching for God to spring a wonderful surprise on me. And it kept happening. And so it tickled me to death because my aunt just wasn't, she's Baptist, you know. They're just not open <laughs> to that kind of stuff too much. And uh, we had to take the car back because it was about time for us to fly home. And I went to take the car back to Heathrow Airport. And it's a massive, um, I mean, just a city in itself. So we took it back to where we thought, where we came out of the airport, we thought there would be a way back into the airport to return the car. And it didn't look the same at all. I mean, there was nothing there that looked even remotely like an exit that might take us to the car dealership place. So I told my aunt, I said, let's get back on the freeway. We'll take the first exit. We'll go, and we have to fill up the gas with car, a uh, car with gas anyway, and we'll ask somebody the directions. So I got off the exit, and I'm driving down, and I don't know if you've been into England, they have, their, their highway signs are in, like, little white, um, arrows, little signs, two inches high, hard to see. <laughs> and, and there was a gas station coming up on our right, so I'm like, cool, we'll get gas there, we'll ask. We look at the sign, and I looked at my aunt, and she looked at me, and she says, how do you, quit, how do you continue to do that? And we were one driveway from where we needed to return the car. <laughs> it was oh, like, wow. woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> And one more that I would like to share, and that's, uh, I'm listening to Edwin Gaines talking about tithing. And she said that she, in, when it was time for her to go be a minister of a unity church, she got the direction that she was supposed to go to Knoxville, Tennessee. And the, they said, well, Edwin, we don't even have a church in, in uh, Knoxville. And she said, well, that's the direction I was given. So anyway, they went to lunch, came back, and she says, Edwin, you'll never believe this. 
we got a letter today requesting a minister for a study group in Knoxville. And she said, well, send them my resume. Well, because there was only 12 people, they were only willing to pay her $600 a month, and they wanted the, the church office in her apartment. So she said, okay, God, well, if this is what you want me to do, I need a really big sign here. And she said, and so I'm as good as Moses, and so what I want is a burning bush. <laughs> and, um, and so she said they were driving down, the, they were going to Gatlinburg, they were going to go have lunch, look around the area. And she said she saw a sign, and she said, back up, back up. She said, I wonder if you see that sign. Well, it said, burning brush in this area is forbidden. <laughs> and she said, God, that's just not good enough. I really need a big signal, and it's got to be the burning bush. So they're driving along, and they're getting close to Gatlinburg, and she says, wouldn't it be funny if we drive around this corner, and there's a great big billboard that says burning bush. And sure enough, when she turned that corner, it said burning bush restaurant. And they had oh they had lunch there, and she signed that contract. Oh, wow. So I just wanted to remind you that grace has supersedes all of our trouble. Uh -huh. It's you can call on it any minute you need, and the most amazing thing happens when you trust. Thanks. Beautiful, Jenny.